Alrighty then, so welcome back once again to Undertale! And here we are, just chilling outside what looks like a mouse hole? Are we finally gonna meet the mouse? I don't know, perhaps. There are a lot of spider webs all over the place. I'm just not. No! Did you hear what they just said? Wait, what? I didn't say. It. They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. In I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I don't know how true that is, man. I, I, I don't stomp on spiders. I'm a nice guy. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. I've never done that either. That is disgusting. I mean, I, I can't say I'm fond of spiders, but I've never torn their legs off. I heard. Oh man, I'm totally stuck now. They're gonna come and eat me. Oh, hello. It's the shop lady. That they're awfully stingy with their money. <laughs> You think your taste is too refined for our pastries, don't you, dear? <laughs> I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. Wait, you're gonna put us in the batch of- This is why I didn't eat them, friend. Muffet traps you. All right, Muffet, screw you. Do I have to pay? All right, pay 10 gold. You pay 10 gold, reduces your attack for this turn. It looks so blue, dearie. Holy, holy, what? I think purple is a better look on you! What does that mean? You're trapped in a strange purple web. Up next, it's the spider. Pay 40 gold. You pay 40 gold, which you reduce their attack again! Why so pale? You should be proud! Oh, I see. It's like music. It's like ledger lines. Synchronized dance with other spiders. You struggle to escape the web, Muffet covers her mouth and giggles at you. Proud that you're going to make a delicious cake. I guess I'm proud. I pray that I taste delicious. Congratulations, spiders, you'll get delicious food. Clap along to the music. Let you go? Don't be silly. Why not? I don't know what I did to you, but I mean, there's no need to be so mean. This is actually kind of easier. Those freshly baked cobwebs. You pay 80 gold, reach your attack for the turn. Your soul is going to make every spider very happy. Yeah, but not me. I have no soul if you do that. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All right. Wait, I don't think I can pay any more money, so I'm just going to struggle. Oh, how rude. I almost got introduced to my pet. It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun, you two. What the heck? What is going on? It's like... Oh, hello. This is interesting. I escaped your pet, you suck. You struggle to escape the web. Muffet is so amused by your antics, she gives you a discount. That's good. The person who warned us about you. Oh my goodness. Muffet does a synchronized dance to the other spiders. You struggle to escape the web, nothing happened. Alright, offered us a lot of money for your soul. Who offered you a lot of money? Why are you so greedy, man? It's just money. My soul is worth more than money. Okay, so I guess we can't... They have a sweet smile and hoo hoo hoo. Oh god, this isn't going well. Oh, it's a power bracelet. Give me a long power bracelet. Alright. It's strange, but I swore I saw them in the shadows. They're changing shape. Wait, what are you talking about? That's just weird. Alright, boomerang power bracelets. Leave me alone. Oh, it's lunchtime, isn't it? I forgot to feed my pet. Oh, right, here we go again. Oh my goodness. I just get hit by everything. Alright, Spider-Man, leave me alone. The music of this game is actually very good. I know only one person composed it, it's like one one person did everything, which is actually amazing. We're gonna have to eat a cinnamon bun. You eat a cinnamon bun! Alright, the Spidey Clan is apparently reunited! Oh man, I went walked into it. That was terrible. They actually do a lot of damage. I don't want to pay a gold. I don't, I don't think I, I should. You haven't heard? Spiders have been trapped in the ruins for generations! Oh goodness. Oh goodness, stop. 
even if you d under the door, Snowden's fate of cold is impossible alone. Well, I mean, help me out then. That'll be good, Anne. Right, the cross on one's kind of easy to dodge. But with your soul, money from your soul, we'll be able to rent them a heated limb. Wait, what? A heated limo, or I don't know what to do about this one. Oh man, I'm down to 10 HP. Love it tides up the web, and with all the leftovers, we can have a nice vacation, or even you build a spider baseball field. I mean, great, but oh man, I'm gonna die. Don't kill me. All right, we're gonna heal ourselves a little bit. Cinnamon bun, stain apron, hot dog. 20 HP. But enough of that, it's time for dinner. All right, oh gosh, oh gosh. Ah, 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 I'm not good enough at this. Ah! And here comes the Spider-Man. What even is it? I don't actually know. You did it, you got me! Don't kill me! Leave me alone! I want my soul! You're still alive? Oh, my pet looks like it's time for dessert. Huh? A telegram from the spiders in the ruins? What? They're saying they saw you and... Even if you hurt others, you never hurt a single spider? Oh my, this has all been a big understanding. I thought you were a s someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for that soul, they must have met a different human in a striped shirt. Sorry for all the trouble. You'll make it, up. I'll make it up to you. You can come back at any time and no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. Just kidding. I'll spare you now. Thanks, bud. Ooh, that was fun. See you again, dearie. That's where a lot of these battles kind of turn into just... If you survive, they, they like, let you spare them. I mean, I could totally just kill them, but it's kind of more challenging, I think, just to try and spare them. Although it doesn't really seem to take much effort. I don't know. It's a poster for Metaton's latest stage performance. A tragic tale of two star-crossed lovers kept apart by the tides of fate. Looks like it's almost time for the performance. Which probably means we are about to walk into his stage play, so that's gonna be fun. Oh, that human! Could it be? My one true love! I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just kind of reading it, but no well. In the dungeon! Look at these cherry blossoms. It'll suck! <laughs> it, it probably will suck, I'm not done. And then you'll die a lot! Really sad. You're gonna die. Cry, cry, cry. So sad, it's happening. So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. <laughs> well, doodles. No! Well, I guess we're in a dungeon then. Oh, he came and followed me. Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. Oh, is this again? Oh, heavens have mercy, the horrible colorized tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will- actually, wait a second. Didn't we use this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great, then I won't have to waste any time repeating them. Oh, and you would better hurry, because if you don't get through it in 30 seconds... You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire! Ah! 
My poor love, I'm so filled with grief, I can't stop laughing. Good luck, darling. Okay, I guess we better, better do this then. So don't step on green, because that's a monster. I can't remember. Piranhas! Wait, I can't... I can't even do it! It's impossible! Because I taste like freaking... Oh no. Oh, I'm so sorry! It looks like we're out of time! Wait, really? Here come the flames, darling! Really? You're closing in! Really? Getting closer! Any minute now! They totally stopped. Alright, we're cool. Robotic cough! Watch out! I'll save you! I'm hacking into the firewall right now! Oh, it's gone. Nice. Oh no! Well, how could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alfie's! Can I... Uh... That's right! Come on, Meton! Give up already! You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle over? Elfie's darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget that the green tiles do? They make a sound, them. You have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. Wait, what? I have no health left. How is this fine? You yell, nothing happens. Is that it, darling? Say goodbye! Is that your phone? You'd better answer it! Hey! This seems bad, but don't worry! There's one last thing I installed on your phone! You know that yellow button? Go to this phone, act menu, and press it! Alright. You press the yellow button, the phone is resonating with Metron's presence. This is it, darling! Say goodbye! Wait, I'm yellow now. Now press Z! What? I don't want to shoot him. Pew, 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 pew. Oh! Oh! You defeated me! How could this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. <laughs> what the heck? Ring! Looks like you beat him! You totally did a great job out there! All thanks to you! What? Oh no, I mean... You were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly program for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but I could tell you something. Before I met you, I didn't really, uh, I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I felt like I'd totally screw up. Like, I couldn't do anything without, without ending up letting everyone down. But guiding you made me feel a lot better about myself. So thanks for letting me help you. Um, anyway, you're almost to the core. It's just past Mount R MTD R Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Alright, cheers, bud. I'm glad we didn't have to actually fight him properly, because I would have totally died. Mainly because I have, like, no health left. Or healing items. So, yeah, all would have been bad. Oh, look, it's Hot Dog Man. Hey, it's you again. Business is excellent here. These two fellas bought all the ice cream. Actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait. We still have something for you. A big smile. How about that? Uh oh. Hey, guys. Do you have any ice cream? Oh, hey. We're, like, totally taking a rain check on killing you thing. Like, you don't tell Udine about that, okay? He seems happy. All right, good. I'm glad they're happy. I mean, they have each other now. R3, eh? R3. That'd be very nice. We, so we can't buy the ice cream, which is a shame. Oh, look. This is back to here. We got those steps? No. Those steps are for, I guess... I don't know. So we can take this, totally take this back. What does this guy got to say? Hey, hey, did you remember my name? Did you? Yes. What do you remember? How could you do so easily defeat me? Um, sorry, man. I don't actually remember your name at all, but I just said yes, so... Hopefully that counts. So we try and, uh... I can't remember. Let's go floor one? Yeah. I was gonna say, let's try and go to Udine's health and see if she has something to... Something, a party to give us or something. Because she was going to give us a party at some point, but then it never really happened because she was sad or something. We could also heal, which is nice. I guess buying food would be a good plan, but we haven't really got the chance. Tra-la-la, -la, let's ride. 
Let's No, I don't want to get a Snowden. Uh I made a mistake. Alright, running cat, you do your thing, but I didn't want to get a Snowden. That was a mistake. I wanted to go to Waterfall. I wonder how what was the name of the squid? What was the name of the squid? It was called something strange. I actually can't remember, but Yeah, I wonder how that squid's doing. Either way, we are here. We jump off and now we jump back on. Chalala. Back to waterfall, please. Waterfall. Let's go. Alright, it's running to waterfall as well. Excellent stuff. What is his name? I don't know. Pet pet scratch what's I don't know. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, on and on and on. Alright. This is where Udine's house is. Now, whether or not there is actually anything to do at Udine's house remains to be seen. It is likely that there isn't. I, I feel like... Yeah, there, uh, I don't know, actually. I don't know. Let's see. Fabulous. I asked Udine if we could all hang, but she said something weird. She said that she won't hang out with a murderer, but um, I don't remember murdering anyone. Though I am pretty brutal kind of guy. Okay, so it's the same thing. I think we'll all hang out later. Alright. So, it may be because I accidentally killed the first person. I can't remember her name now. Toriel. I killed Toriel. That's the only person in the entire game that I killed because I didn't realise that you could, like, spare her. I attempted to spare her, but it kind of went wrong and we ended up not really sparing her at all. But, yeah, there you go. Uh, King? He hasn't really got anything to say new, does he? Udin, yeah, she's a local hero around here. They don't have an original royal guard. Okay, I guess there's not really much to it. How about we buy some food then? So what what actually heals it? Heals 10 HP, heals 18. Crab apple could be useful then. Let's buy some crab apples. Alright, we got some crab apples for our journey. Cheers, bud. See you around. Let's just make sure that didn't trigger anything in UD. It's like, oh, because you help the economy around here, you're allowed in. Yay! Maybe. Not totally not happening. All right, then. Let us head away. I guess it is literally because we killed Toriel. If we hadn't killed her, maybe she'd let us in. Because we haven't killed anyone else in this entire game. It's pretty nice. So anyhow, let's go to Hotland. We're off to Hotland. And the boat is running again. The boat likes to run, doesn't it? It really does like running around and gliding across the water like a swan. I guess a cat swan, but yeah. What's inside Acorn? It really is just a mystery. I mean, I guess. I mean, does it matter? No one really cares. Anyway, we have returned to Hotland and we are going to take the lift back up to floor three. And I guess we'll go up those kind of those steps that look kind of ominous. Could mean something. We, we don't entirely know, but we'll find out, won't we? Alright, let's go. So we're going to take the lift up to right floor 3, which I believe is the latest one. It could be wrong, it could be left floor 3. Left floor 3? No, I'm pretty sure this is the right one. Yeah, it totally is. Look at it, look at his shocked face that I remembered him. So strange. So strange they scream. Alright. Oh, it's Sans. What are you up to, Sans? Hey! Go up the creepy alley on the right for some great deals. Alright, I'm, I'm up for that. Up the creepy alley for some great deals! Hey, check it out! What have you got? Junk food! Tail 17! Okay, that's not great. Cowboy hat. Probably to someone's house. Mystery key! Oh my word, I want it. I want the mystery key. I'm Bratty and this is my best friend Catty! I'm Catty and this is my best friend Bratty! Oh. Okay. The stuff inside is like, totally wicked expensive. But like, this stuff we found is like, totally wicked cheap. You should like, Totally wicked buy all of it. I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food or found it in the garbage? It's good garbage. It's really good garbage. Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store, duh. Waterfall, mostly. I found a gun in a dumpster. Alright. Oh, my Meton. He's like robot husband. Actually, he's like my robot husband. I think we're both, like, going to marry him. We're, we're both, like, already married to him. He just, like, doesn't know it yet. So, like, Dr. Alfie's beat Medon, right? He, it's, like, what they tell you. But, like, Medon always acts like being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built, he acted like Alfie's was an old friend. But they're, like, not friends anymore. Yeah, unlike me and Braddy, best friends forever. Oh my god, Dr. Alfie's? She used to live on our street. She was like a big sister. I mean, like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump, she showed us the coolest places to find trash. She was always collecting those weird cartoons. 
Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. Dr. Alphys was always like, thought Asgore is super cutie. So like, I'm pretty sure she made Meton to like, totally impress him. A robot like a soul that's like, super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Meton, Asgore asked her to do all the science stuff for him. And nobody like, seen anything from her yet. Or her at all. She like, just stay in her lab all day. Like, live a little girl. Yeah, like, like us. Oh my god, he's like a total goober. He's a big fuzzy goofball. Like, I love that guy. He's like, so nice. God, we're like, god. So hyped for the destruction of humanity. Alright, guys, I'm, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Alright, thanks for the cheap stuff. Let's see what Sans has to say, because he's hanging around. Sansy! Mm -hmm. Hey, I heard you're going mm -hmm. to the core. How about gobbling some dinner with me first? Mm -hmm. Great, thanks for treating me. Well, I'm not treating you. Mm -hmm. Over here, I know a shortcut. Of course you do a shortcut. Are we going back to, uh, what's it called, Grillsby's? Oh, this is totally something different. Well, here we are. So, uh, your journey's almost over, huh? You almost really want to, you must really want to go home. Hey, uh, I know the feeling, buddo. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you? Down here, you've already got food, drinks, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, uh, Sans. Hey, let me tell you a story. So, I'm a sentry in Stone Forest, right? I sit out there and watch the for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door, and it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock-knock, and suddenly from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So naturally I respond, dishes. Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter, like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yordle. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, so I did. Then I did again and again, it's a thing now, telling you bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will ya? Now, I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't know her name, but someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. That was Toriel, right? Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would happen if she hadn't said anything, buddy? You... you'd be dead where you stand. Wait, you can't kill me, Stan. Hey, line up, bucko! I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. That's right, isn't it? Well, chalk it up to my great skills. Hey. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Aw, oh, Sans. Sans, I didn't have a knife and fork on my side of the table, man. That was not a, that was not called for. All right, well, I don't I don't understand. As I came in, I realized something. I forgot to make a reservation, but I didn't look want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew of this. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck? What a weirdo. All right, well we didn't have a reservation either. We just kind of walked in. It's a performance schedule. Comedians, dancers, Sans. See, there's a break now. Wait, Sans is on the performance? Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things widening and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go uh, two feet without being up your armpits in a puzzle. No, I agree, man. I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, it was totally a fun day. I sure love puzzle. 
Alright, cool. What about this thing? I'm the resort comedian! I'm very funny! People laugh at my jokes! Hey now, my son. He wants to be a comedian like my father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells those awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha ah, ha ha! That's not funny. Since he's... Motheth passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. Wait, what the heck? That was totally not funny. That was just sad. Blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, and your food. Your... Okay, well, I'm not going to do any of that, because it sounds like a pain. Here's the thing. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel fills you with determination. Well, I guess that about wraps it up. We're calling it a day there. It looks like we're pressing on. So it turns out we killed Sans' friend, but Toriel still kind of looked out for us, which I guess is okay. I feel bad for killing her, though, for sure, but she is our only casualty. We're doing all right. Till next time. Good night.